to buy or not to buy, this is the question. Because I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. Just last night, looking on Facebook, I mean news feed, it came up on Brian May Guitars that Amplitude have just relief, released, released the Amplitude Brian May for Mac and PC. Now when I first saw it, there's a video there that showcases it. Well, wow, this is absolutely amazing. You've got everything uh, that that's needed to be able to create Brian May's sound all in one place. Why they hadn't done this years ago is beyond me. But then I looked at the price, £110. Uh, then I thought, I don't really need it. I'll stick with me Vox Tone Lab and me Brian May, uh, the white uh, Vox BM1 amplifier to create uh, Brian May sounds. Then, as I got up this morning, started mm, wonder whether I should buy it or not. I have used Amplitude software in the past years ago when I used to use a laptop. I had the Jimi Hendrix Amplitude software. Uh, there was the heavy metal one, and quite brilliant. Uh, you could with the Jimi Hendrix one. It really had a discography of all the songs, all the guitar parts. You could click on that, and it would recreate the sound and the effects. That Jimi Hendrix used. So they've pretty much done the same with the Brian May one. Um, there's a Jamie Humphreys video um, which he showcases what the uh, the software actually does. Uh, but what's obvious is that Jamie Humphreys in the background there of his video has got some serious kit going on. There's a lot of money's worth. Um, on this channel, we do everything on a shoestring budget because we're like aimed at kids who haven't got, don't live in recording studios. Uh, so, <clears throat> my idea of using Amplitude software would be to use my iPad and my iRig, is that right? iRig um, plug in. So, I could pl plug the guitar into the iPad and then lead it out into an amp. What's interesting is if you actually go to Amplitude on your iPad um, if you click because it's you download the software onto your iPad through the App Store then you would try and load up and buy as an extra the Brian May part of it is, uh, is like a plug-in if you look on there what you get there is the Brian May collection now it's actually blank a little couple of dots there as if it's not available yet but in the tab below the all effects collection 2019 uh, for 23.99 you can get the fender full tone t-rex morley plus slash jimmy hendrix dimebag daryl and brian may artist collections effects models released in 2000 automatically so you can get the whole lot there for 23.99 so it may actually be cheaper to buy it by using it through your iPad. Uh, a friend messaged me saying that he was trying to get it and wasn't kind of working from just yet. I messaged by me a guitars to ask them whether they had any advice, but again it's IK Multimedia who've made this not Brian May guitars. So that aside, it, it's really left us one should I go for this because it looks that good. What do you actually get? Well there's a Stargate custom uh, designed noise gate the Fox phaser uh, which obviously Brian May uses on things like keep yourself alive now you've got the, the treble booster the cat treble booster which is the the 70s 80s, it has a 70s 1980s and a 1990s uh, button on it so you can choose it's like three treble boosters in one now that's just come out and i think they were over 200 pound so that's actually built into this software which is a nice feature also if you don't happen to have a red special there's this um device that's built in which is basically the red special guitars built in so if you're using single coils or you're using uh, like a les paul or humbuggers uh, you can actually uh, create the Brian May sound a bit like what was on the Digitech pedal really this idea that if you were using Humbug as there was a switch to be able to, to change things another nice uh, feature 
is the DG amp is in there and also obviously Primer uses three eight Vox AC30s with like that wet and dry sound so you've got the three the three amps you've got a Brian May War pedal which he uses uh, it's also available like we said on iPad um, which is going to be interesting I might be able to, uh, to get that if I do but if you look at this picture you can actually mic up the, there's a like built-in mic, so you a dynamic mic, a condenser mic these are really good, a good feature of um, of this kind of software because you can learn a lot from it you would normally have to you know live in a recording studio and have all this gear where you can do it in a virtual world and you can learn a lot about how to make things up what different things sound like uh, with there with the, the picture there of the DE amp it actually has <laughs> has the ba the battery next to it and again it's getting mic'd up so you can learn a lot about that and that's really interesting I'll put a link in the description to the Jamie Humphreys video check that out you can even harmonize with this uh, obviously Brian May likes to record all the guitar parts separately and then layer them but when, uh, with this software you can actually harmonize as well you can go in where you can use graphic equalizer to get more of a studio sound uh, I'll put a link in the description check it out it's well worth looking at if it's cheaper for iPad I may go for it but would I want to spend £110 probably not let me know your thoughts in the comments and as always thank you for watching